My name is Nick Shaw. Today we're talking through an interior air barrier transition through a floor system. So the interior air barrier, the Intello Plus or the Intello X membrane, should follow the interior side of the insulation for the building envelope, the shell of the building. For most of the project, it'll be fairly simple. You staple it to the studs and tape the seams with Tescon Vanna tape. But where you're transitioning through the floor system, the details will get a little more tricky. You have those floor joists and the subfloor sheathing that will interrupt the connection from the Intello below to the Intello on the wall above. So we're talking through how sequencing during the framing stage can really simplify this detail and keep costs down. So here we have our stud wall framing with our top plate. You might have a double top plate. This is the interior side and this is the exterior side. Before we set this floor system, this floor joists and rim joists down, we want to first cover over this top plate with a wide piece of Tescon Vanna tape. We're exposing an interior edge of that tape on the interior side, and we're exposing the exterior edge on the exterior side here. We can then frame our floor system. So here we have our floor joists, our rim joists, and our subfloor sheathing. Once that's all framed, we can use a wide piece of Tescon Vanna to connect to that exterior edge that we placed previously, wrap around that rim joist and over that subfloor sheathing. This could be multiple pieces of Tescon Vanna. We just want to make sure we're sealing all the joints and seams of all this framing connection. It should come to the interior side of the subfloor, just inboard of where your stud wall will sit for the framing of the wall above. So now we can frame that wall above. Here's our bottom plate, and you can see we have that exposed edge of Tescon Vanna on the interior side. We can then sheath, whether that's plywood or OSB sheathing, and then we can protect and waterproof that sheathing, the Solitex Mento 1000 membrane or the Adhero membrane. These are airtight, watertight, vapor permeable membranes. After that's done, we can then insulate. You might have exterior insulation, whether that's a mineral wool or rock wool board or a wood fiber board, something that's vapor permeable. And you might have bat or blown in insulation between the stud framing and those cavities and within this floor joist system. We can then install our rain screen, vertical strapping to create that vented cavity that's allowing drainage and that holds our finished siding. We can then install the Intello Plus membrane or the Intello X membrane on the interior side of that insulation and we're taping it to that exposed edge of the Tescon Vanna on the floor below and to that exposed edge of the Tescon Vanna on the floor above. Now we've transitioned this air barrier around this floor system to keep it complete and continuous. We can then install our service cavity, our strapping. So it's actually creating a chase for our electrical components to really simplify those details. So that way we don't need to air seal around all of our outlet penetrations. You can throw an additional bat insulation within this cavity for more R value. If this was blown in insulation such as a dense pack cellulose, you'd actually install the strapping first and the Intello membrane to blow behind it. The Intello can help support that install and the strapping will help prevent any billowing or bulging of that Intello membrane. So then we can hang our sheetrock, our drywall finish, and now we have our air barrier from the floor below running up that wall, over that top plate, around that rim joist, below the bottom plate to connect to the Intello on the floor above. Some projects that are retrofits might not have the opportunity to do this, so they can run the Intello membrane directly through that floor system and tape it to the underside of that subfloor sheathing up here. The concern with this is that all those floor joists are interrupting this connection, so you would need to tape around all of those as well. Another option is to place airtight blocking within here and use the Viscon air barrier to brush all those joints and seams of that blocking to transition this interior air barrier through that floor system as well. So this would be more of a retrofit application while wrapping around will keep costs down but can only be done for new builds. To find out more, please check out the 475 website.